Let's build a witch's hat. As usual, we start by pressing K and uh, adjust our settings. I'm turning off guides and confirm smart join. Turn on union because we'll start on a blank surface and add blank object. Let's call it uh, witch hat. So I'm going to draw a profile which we will spin to create the hat. It's about center area. I'm going to start about here and a shape like this. And press K again. Now this is not going to make much sense to you at first. But uh, once we adjust a few things, things will look better. So first of all, we are going to click spin and we actually want to spin it around Z. Now this is still not quite what we want because we need to turn a volume and loop so that we only want the shell of that shape we created earlier. So okay this is a hatfish looking thing and let's come here to simplify um, I can try to adjust these settings, but in some cases even spacing work better, and I think this is one of those. Um, maybe a bit more. Okay. Now, this is all and good, but it's kind of boring. So let's go back. We are going to utilize another operator. Let's mute this and press U to pick a color and we're going to pick plot material this time and let's draw a curve like this okay this is how we're going to bend that shape basically press K again unmute you can see the curve already created we're going to click curve deform and turn on the options we're going to select the custom curve and since we want to bend it along the z-axis let's select pose z okay now we're getting somewhere uh, expand the profile transforms and let's translate this shape along the z-axis uh, that's not bad looking at all oh uh, yeah could uh, still let me see muted one more time I want to make some adjustments uh, and let's increase this a bit and I'm going to pull this section down a bit this time okay press K unmute okay I think that's a, quite a bit better Let's play with the transforms a bit and see what we get. And here you are. Some kind of a hat. Well, it's a witch's hat, really. Now I could uh, turn on the slice to give it some thickness. But you could also uh, add that later in Blender modifiers so that it'll give it give you the possibility of adjusting certain other things because those things are much easier when you have fewer polygons to deal with. Now this is fine but uh, how about a belt or a strap around the hat? Okay now let's just draw a profile like this. Press K. And this looks strange but don't worry because of these settings we need to first slide it down a bit because we the sketch and curve keeps the previous settings now it's too flush with the hat and since this is a belt it needs to be on top of the surface a bit and to fix that we go to the spin operator and let's expand the spin profile transform and Let's slide that profile you draw on X a tad. I'm going to exit the camera. 
Actually, that's that's pretty good looking, if you ask me. Yeah, nailed it in one try. Okay, so let's call that done. Press K again to set it. And this time I'm going to turn off the spin and power deforms. I'm just going to draw a belt on this thing. So press K, add the blank object, and let's call the switch hat buckle. Press enter, okay. Now, and let's press Alt Control 3, zoom in, since this is a whole new object. And I, I want the belt to be right on top of this, so to make life easier, let's select 3D cursor and shift right click right on the belt here. And let's draw a belt in buckle. Okay, I think this will do. Press K. And of course, we need to make some adjustments. First of all, let's turn the volume and loop back on again. And let's adjust our simplification back to default value. See what that looks like. Yep. And there's our extrusion options. Let's reduce the extrusion. Tad. Maybe a bit more than that. And then go to main transforms and rotate this not on Y but X in this case because we were in the side view. And then let's translate it in Y. Let's say that this is so let's try the bevel options. Oh, maybe a little too much. Zero point zero zero five. Okay, that's a little better. All right. Um, let's. Cut a hole in this. Well, you know what? I'm going to use a pen. Or you can reduce the pen thickness. Okay. This time we're going to cut through. Let's turn on, turn off the guides. Here you are. That kind of looks all right maybe we can scale that a tad z as you notice i didn't have to readjust the angles because sketch and car remembers the settings okay let's press k to set that Some shading. Okay, now as I mentioned earlier, we can actually select this object and maybe add a thickness modifier here or solidify. I meant to say, and there you are. And here's the hat. I hope you enjoyed this mini tutorial. See you next time.